If you want a massive advantage as a content creator, you need to try an AI browser. This is Perplexity Comet, and it's not just a chatbot. It can actually take action on websites, like looking through your own podcast metrics and telling you what resonates with your audience. If you're looking for a specific clip to include in your show, Comet could do that too. It can also analyze the top podcasts in a category and suggest topics for your show. So here are 10 ways an AI browser like Perplexity Comment changes the game. First is finding clips. Let's say you want to find a soundbite to include in your podcast or video. Even if I don't know exactly who said the quote or clip or what was said, I can ask something like, find that well-known Winston Churchill quote from World War II as a clip on YouTube. And in a few moments, Comment is going to go out, search a bunch of YouTube videos, find the exact moment we're talking about, and it actually gave me two examples. One is from the movie, The Darkest Hour, and another is the original recording. And I can jump right to it, and here's the audio of that speech. And you can ask it for very specific moments, like finding the clip where JFK says we're going to be on the moon within the decade, and here's the result, and I can click watch the clip here, and it's actually going to bring the playhead to that specific moment in the speech, and now I can reference this in my content. Next, I can use comments to pull specific info from a YouTube video. Like let's say I'm watching this video from J Class's YouTube channel, and they're talking about a secret YouTube feature. Well, as I'm watching the video, I can open the comment assistant here, and I can ask, what's the secret feature of YouTube that they're talking about? And it knows the context because the AI is actually built into the browser. It's looking in the video that I'm already watching, and now it broke down key points and I can see what they're talking about in the video. Or let's say I'm watching this interview with Colin and Samir and Ryan Trahan about his 50 States video, and I can ask it a specific question like, where did Ryan get the idea for this video? And just like that, Comet can tell me where he got the idea, and I can ask follow-up questions right here in the chat box. Next, whether it's video content or podcast, Comet can analyze the top performing content in a category and then suggest topics for your show. So I asked Comet to analyze popular and trending topics among business podcasts here on YouTube. Now, depending on your query, it might take a few moments because Comet might actually look outside of YouTube for more information and research. You can see some of the sources that it used here at the top, and there's actually a total of 21 different sources it used to pull this information. And here are the top five topics that we've seen in popular podcasts, and now that gives me ideas for my own content. And if I want to search more broadly, I can ask it, what are the trending topics this month amongst the biggest podcasts on YouTube in general? And here it's given me some general answers about what's popular, and then I can even ask it to dive in deeper and give me specific episodes. I asked it for a specific recent episode of the Diary of a CEO that performed well, and to bring me to that video. And it loaded the page right here in the browser. I didn't have to do anything. Number four, it can do the same thing for podcasts, because you can go to podcast.apple.com. So I'm going to ask Comet to analyze the top 100 episodes, which these are the current top 100. What are the topics or guests that are a common thread amongst these episodes? And to break it down. It's even told me some specific guests that were featured on recent episodes, some high profile business leaders that were interviewed, and some general topics that were covered in these most popular episodes. Then I'll ask Comet to give me five possible podcast title ideas based on what's popular and trending right now. And these might be great starting off points on how I want to shape my next episode or if I'm looking for a guest, which Perplexity Comet can actually help you do that too through LinkedIn. We're going to get to that in a minute. And now I have a head start in planning my next video or podcast. Next, you can ask Comet to help you promote your own content. So this was our latest episode of Primary Technology. And here, looking at the video on YouTube, I can ask, Give me five social media posts promoting this episode based on the content of the podcast. It's going to look through the transcript or the captions, whatever's available. And it's now giving me five social media posts with some emojis. And I can already tell these are spot on with the topics we discussed in the episode. And now I have five ways to share it. Now, before I get to the next five use cases for Comet, which I think are going to blow your mind, Comet does require a waiting list if you're on the pro plan or you have to pay $200 a month to get immediate access. But there's a tool you can use right now, and it's built directly into Riverside. Riverside just launched CoCreator, which is an AI partner that can actually do a lot of the things I just mentioned. You can look at all the suggestions right here and ask CoCreator for possible title ideas, descriptions for your podcast, and it knows the context because CoCreator because co can see the recording and transcript of your content. And here I have five title ideas for my podcast. I can ask it for a description, or maybe I even want a thread for social media based on the topic. I can even select a specific topic that was in my podcast in the content I recorded and co-creator will base the thread on what we made. I can even ask it for a promo trailer, a thumbnail image or social media images to promote. And I can even ask it to create a blog post based on one of the topics. 
and our recordings. And right here, now I can post this on my website. This is great for SEO, and I can quickly repurpose my content in lots of different ways. You can try Riverside for free right now, and CoCreator is built in. That first link down in the description will take you right to Riverside. You can record and live stream in high quality, and we have lots of ways to repurpose your content, like with Magic Clips, CoCreator, and more. Check it out in that link in the description. Next, let's say you were looking for a guest for your podcast. Well, you can actually go to LinkedIn, log into your account, and then ask Comet to help find you guests. I can ask it to look for experts in AI research that have been guests on a podcast before. This way I know this person has actually been on a podcast and is accustomed to it. And look at all these recommendations I'm getting directly here from Comet. And then I can even ask it to go to a specific person's profile here on LinkedIn. And I'm not doing anything. Comet will navigate to that person on LinkedIn by itself. And just like that, I'm on his profile and I can send him a message right here. I can even ask Comet to send him a message automatically. Now, number seven, if I want this person as a guest on my podcast, I should find out what other interviews they've done. So I just asked Comet to find the last five podcast appearances. And here it's giving me the date, the episode, the show, and even links to the Apple podcast episodes, links to YouTube. And I can say, go to his latest interview on YouTube, and then Comet's going to take me directly to that interview, and now I'm watching it right here. And just like before, we can ask for a summaries or key points based on this interview. So I just asked Comet, give me five key points from the interview that I'm watching right here, and I can ask follow-up questions or for more information. Number eight, you can use Perplexity Comet to help you analyze your own podcast metrics. So here I have my podcast hosting numbers through Transistor, and I can ask Comet questions like, what month in the last year had the most downloads? And Comet's actually gonna navigate and look through the metrics of my hosting website automatically and let me know what that month was. And apparently it was June, 2025. And then I'll ask what was the most downloaded episode in the past three months? I can also ask it questions to help me plan for my future episodes, like based on the most popular episodes, what are topics I should cover in the future? You can also ask it simple questions like, what are our average downloads per month? Number nine, Comet can also help you decipher the YouTube metrics. So here in YouTube Studio, I went into advanced mode, and it can be a little complicated to read all the data and know how to filter it, but I can just ask it a question in natural language, like what was our most viewed full-length episode in the past six months? And it immediately tells me what the episode was and how many views it had. I can also ask what was the episode with the highest watch time? That means what episode was watched the most or the longest by our audience. And you can see that was actually a different episode. And it gives me the watch time and publish date. And I can ask it follow-up questions like what's our average watch time per month over the last six months? And it tells me the average right there. But also knowing your lowest performing pieces of content can help you plan for the future too. And there it identified our least viewed episode, how many views it had, and that can help me decide what to talk about in the future. And finally, number 10, not only can Comet find PDFs or other files that might be hidden or difficult to access as part of a website, but it can even do things like getting a thumbnail image file from a YouTube video. So while I'm watching a video, I can ask it, get the raw image thumbnail. That quickly, here it is, and I can save it to my computer and then publish and promote my episode on social media using this. And those are 10 ways to use an AI browser like Comet in your content creation, whether it's videos or podcast. But since that is on a wait list, you should definitely try Co-Creator from Riverside right now at that link in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside channel right here and hit that like button. Lots of new features launching all the time, like co-creator, plus more in our editor, ways to repurpose, live stream, and more. Which if you want to see some of our latest features, check out this video right up here. Or if you need help with your setup, maybe you're looking to upgrade your cameras, microphones, or your home studio, check out my video on that right up here. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.